Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement. On this day, I did not think I would get to quite so quickly. Okay, right, so we're here. It is X-Men 97. I am now watching episode two. However, in real time, real world land, something major went down this week. So if I do not want it spoiled, I'm, I'm binging what I haven't seen so far. I don't know how quickly I will release them, but I'm watching them all right now. Because whatever it is, my phone is telling me whatever it is, it was massive. So I am excited to get to it where we have last, la last, where we have last left off. Storm has lost her powers. Jean has her baby, but we have two genes. Right. And, and the drinking game is still on. We did pretty good for episodes one and two. We had some of the classic X-Men tropes, but it wasn't over overboard we shall see what we get so if you're playing along again we are taking a drink anytime somebody gets the drop on our gang or the fighting style to get somebody to come down is just to scream stop listen to me and then of course the third one is secret relationships babies Leo and rogue what yeah so that's what we're doing. If you're playing along, awesome. Let me know in the comments. And if you're not playing along, just tell me what you're drinking. I would like to know. So while we get under the big cozy blanket, you can hit subscribe. Remember that full episode watch long is available on Patreon. Would love to see you there. Oh God, guys, let's get to it. Oh, there you go, Jean. As if her awareness was born only yesterday. That was of laboratory. Then escape. Oh, sinister. Is that sinister? My friends, words will fail to prepare you, but the gene that lies on this couch would appear to be the actual gene gray. Actual. Effectively carbon dating each woman on a cellular level. Gene Doe is older. What? The proper age, yours while identical, is not. What? Ergo, our gene is. A clone. What? Wait, what? Your science could have been manipulated by someone with wicked intentions. Scott, tell them. Um. Scott? Beast, confirm your test. Enough tests! You know me! Oh, <laughs> That's her baby. That is her baby. Storm would have believed me. Oh, that's terrible. Can you imagine? That is terrible. Please, not now. The baby Jeez. needs a shirt. That baby's cold. <laughs> Beast tests won't change the fact that I'm Nathan's mother. Scott, I need you to trust me. Trust the life we were going to build. So how old is this Jean? Then go. We should have left when we had the chance. We could still leave. <gasps> Scott, you have to get Nathan. Hank? I know who cloned Gene. A man so dark and twisted he can be described as nothing other than sinister. I don't understand. Who are you? But you can call me father. You! Get away from us! Mother and child, what a touching display. Secret babies! <gasps> you want our son? That's why I made you. Baked you. So it's true? I'm not Jean Grey? Wait a minute, what? Every cell in you belongs to me. You have no choice. <gasps> Wait a minute. Time to wake up, my queen. My influence over your mind is flawless. So Sinister's claim to be Nathan's father? <sighs> oh, you're hurting the baby. The baby's getting scared. Tell me your dark desire. 
then let's look at the schedule and see who's up next hmm looks like magneto and rogue have the danger room next oh and all tomorrow too wow rogue's really training her stamina with the new boss it don't say that stay on patrol on second off baby gamma go look for rogue right now <laughs> what is happening Roberto is there. And does anybody else, when they hear Roberto, immediately think of Waterboy? <laughs> I can't help it. One too many redheads for you. Here, need some help with those hard to reach spaces. Always with the jokes, eh, Morph? As if we all don't know. What is with the jungle, though? Has this poultry guy's gone wrong? Liar. Most Mom. Not again. Oh yeah. No, this can't be good. Oh no, not at all. I think one of us has the wrong floor. The whole mansion's possessed. Ah! Yeah, they can never unsee that. No, this is the, the clothes. Roberto, look oh, out! Oh, so, Mr. Solar Boy, what what do your powers do? Yo, Cyclops, hit me! <laughs> Time for an exorcism, punks! So, Bishop's power is to absorb energy. And Rogue's power is to absorb powers. What happens if she absorbs Bishop's powers? You're welcome. Just curious. Speaking of, where is Rogue and Magneto? Enough. <gasps> Jean -jean. What does he even see in you? Who am I? Say my name, Scott. I am beyond Jean Grey, beyond the X-Men. I am scorn and fury, forged in righteous brimstone. I am the Goblin Queen. This was just a taste of what waits for you if you follow. My suggestion? Don't. Okay, Miss Sassy Pants. Now, so Jean had a third? Did she really have a third? A stampede of buffalo to do a home makeover. Remy. Personality is the sentence I was trying to say. How could I lead the team when I can't even protect my own son? My own... Her. And it is time the madman pay for his malevolent appropriations. At last, the spawn of Scott Summers and Jean Grey. Do you know why you are my greatest prize? You random writhing thing of chance. The combination. He's cooking the baby? Genetics makes your potential unlimited. Your why is he cooking the baby? But first, you must be made invulnerable. A new breed of perfect creations will be born this night. This baby is being cooked. What is happening? Out. I am both delighted and horrified right now. <laughs> I knew you'd follow Scott. Trust me, Scott. Tr Storm would have. I do not want to fight you, comrade. I want you to fight for me. <gasps> oh no. Yes. 
my queen. I should have you as a toy. She seems too powerful. How do you feed so powerful? Ooh, ah, now you made her bleed, Scott! Made her bleed! I didn't want to. Don't worry. Mm. You'll bleed too, darling. Yeah. Kid, keep it. This is terrible. Pain. I must help. You will remember who you are. What you mean to us, to me. I, I remember you. I mean, all that to you. More. Scott, he's in danger. <laughs> this ends now. Oh! Is Jean gonna put upon the power of the Phoenix if she still has it inside her? I can't remember where the Phoenix went. I was Phoenix. Me! Power incarnate! I remember this. It felt like the first day of the rest of my life. But what happened? When did we find our power? Ooh! Which of these members are yours and which are mine? Can you? I I think so. Yeah, I don't know, because when did you come about, woman? You are nothing! Oh, she's a baby! Nathan, how could I forget? He's a living reminder of the purest love two people can share, and no one can ever ever take that away from you this is the greatest moment of my life and your baby's being cooked in some sort of serum right now go get him let's go save nathan sure i'll trust you now <laughs> what Xavier's orphans knew the future we have in store <gasps> you stay away from our son Fools! You have doomed the boy! It's over, Sinister. Is it now? Is it? Your house is on fire. And your child all gone. Oh god, Nathan. <gasps> you monster! What have you done? What has he done? What has he done to this baby? No organic virus strain. Sinister was likely exposing Nathan to it in the hopes of making him invincible. It could take months, even years, to develop a cure. And the virus is already spreading rapidly. There's no time. What if there's a cure in yours, Bishop? In the future, Beast's nearly fixed your time band. This band only got enough juice for Nathan and I. Meaning, we can't go with you. Oh, no, no. There has to be another way. I won't be like my father. I won't abandon my son. Oh, yeah. Don't any of you know how it feels to be abandoned? Um, all of them? He won't feel abandoned. I promise. I can't be a part of this. So you're just gonna bug out? Thanks, Pops. There'll be days when you're lonely or scared, where you ask yourself why we did this. But you are perfect, my baby. We love you so much, Nathan. But owe you nothing less than the best possible future. And then she's leaving too. This is your home, too. 
How much do you remember? Most everything. Then you know how much I've wanted to go. To start a new life. We don't know when Sinister switched us. Who really was the Phoenix? Which of us married Scott? All we have now is the future. My next life will be mine. Take care, Jean. Call me Madeline Pryor. Farewell, Madeline. Farewell, Jean. What? <laughs> okay. So, here's this bed you've shared with another woman for how many years? Looks like this here grouse sticking around. Shame about the weather, but I wouldn't give if someone could just make it rain. Who are you? Name is Forge, Storm. Forge! I'd like to help you get back what you've lost. Okay, sir! Oh, I have so many thoughts that are just ring, ring. And Gil Birmingham does the voice of Forge. Wow, this ain't your papa's X-Men. What just happened? And of course, at the end, I'm thinking, here's Bishop taking this baby. Where's his food? He's not bought. She's, she's still breastfeeding? What? Where's the diapers? I mean, just in how long? And then Bishop comes back with the baby to Jean and not Madeline? How terrible. This was a dark... Jing, jing, jing. What's the worst thing we can do to this little couple that just had their baby is let's make the wife not the wife and let's try to kill the baby. They tried to kill or do something. They're experimenting on the baby in an X-Men cartoon. <laughs> wow. Wow. So me, myself, personally, I am a romance person. I'm a romance author. I love the romance books happily ever after. Yes. Your couple will go through trials and tribulations to get to the end. But this is... <laughs> OMG, that was a secret baby out of nowhere. So what happens next? Sinner's still, still out there. Bishop, now Bishop has gone to the future with the baby. Madeline is now out in the world. Childless, husbandless. Jean's now just gonna again stand in front of the bed. Her husband has slept with someone else for how long? How long? How long? Does she know Charles is gone? Wow. So what's next? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to watch, which I'm gonna do next. So and that's another thing I was realizing. If you're all leaving me comments, I won't see them till three episodes down the way. But that's okay. Leave away because where you're going as me i hope so i hope you're all excited to continue because i am so don't be strangers um hit subscribe so you know when the next one drops and until then take care of yourselves stretch your body drink your non-sugary fluids and come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again you all and until next time